I'd like to introduce you to the concept of body information. What's the body of an information item? Well, we've been playing around with putting paragraphs inside of descriptions, for example, or putting paragraphs inside of introductions. Think about, in the end, what's delivering the, the vast bulk of information? What's really delivering the knowledge? It's that stuff inside the paragraphs, isn't it? We have a lot of metadata, the metadata that surrounds the paragraph titles and IDs and that sort of thing. That's really very useful for getting us to the information. But the information we're trying to get to, really, is inside those sentences, inside those paragraphs. And when we have a collection of sentences, a collection of paragraphs, and that includes tables and bullet lists and anything else, any other places, I'm getting rained on again. <laughs> Every time that geyser goes off, I get rained on. The collection of all of those, uh, all of those paragraphs, all of those blocks of information, that's the body. And I've said before that the body is kind of the, the vast, unparsed, ununderstood, unstructured, or, or hyper-structured kind part of the information. It's the payload. It's the stuff that we're really trying to deliver. And we've create, we create a model to represent that um, as paragraphs and tables and uh, ordered lists and unordered lists, etc. And we sort of avoid the true issue of what inside of that information is delivering the real value. How do we semanticize the information inside the paragraph? So we will safely ignore that. We'll, we'll avoid that issue really throughout this entire class. And instead, we'll look at that body, the bulk, the payload, the things that you're, the information itself that you're trying to deliver, to deliver as the body of the, of the information type. And when I say the body, I mean the collection of paragraphs, the bulk of information that, um, that uh, is inside tags like P and UL and table and uh, LI and, and tags like that. So the concept of body is the concept of the bulk of information that we represent mostly, fun mostly uh, in a format way and not structurally. However, we can throw structure tags in whenever we want. If you look at the body model that's represented on your page here, you'll see that a lot of it is, all, is, about, is about formatting. But there's some tags thrown in there. For example, the editor tag, and for example, the ad ref tag. Those are tags that are semantic tags. Something doesn't look like an ad ref, it is an ad ref. Something doesn't look like an editor, it is an editorial competent or an editor. So we have the choice of including semantic tags in with our formatting tags, but by and large, that body model, the way that we model the body, is going to be based on, uh, on, on formatting considerations rather than on structural considerations. So a couple of things just uh, functionally or you know, logistically about how to make that body model is that we construct, uh, we construct a block and an inline model. The block model specifies all the tags that are at the level of a paragraph. All the tags that are, to, are, are considered to have space before and after, above and below, to the right and to the left. Inside that block model, we create an inline model. And so we'll spend some time going through the inline model um, and the block model in other, in other talks. But let me just emphasize at this point the idea of the body. That's the bulk, that's the, the set of paragraphs, that's the part of the information type that really carries the majority of the payload of that information type. And we'll talk more about how you create the structure uh, or how you enforce a structure around that using a block and an inline model. One last idea to throw at you here is that that body is really very variable. Do I know beforehand how many paragraphs it has? I know that each information item has one title, but do I know how many paragraphs it has? Do I know if I want to have one paragraph and then a bullet list and then a table, or two paragraphs and a table and then a bullet list? I don't beforehand. So my conundrum, and the thing that we're going to focus on when we talk specifically about the block in the inline model, is how to, uh, how to host that variability inside of a structure, as, uh, inside of something that's still structured. So we're going to create a schema. That schema is going to enforce rules, but those rules are going to allow variability in how we, um, how we actually deliver that uh, or how we actually implement that model inside of an instance.